If I was a personal coach and I need to sit down with you specifically to tell you how to create your dream life before 2024, this is how I'll do it. Okay, you guys, 2024 is right around the corner and we need to start getting ready. We need to be on our shit before the year starts because we can't just expect ourselves to behave and act like the best version of ourselves when we hit the 1st of January 2024. That's why we need to be a little bit more realistic and start before. In this video, I'll go through everything we guys can do before the year 2024 so we, that we can actually get kind of a head start before the year actually hits and we want to work out and we want to grind and we want to become the best version of ourselves. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. Okay, first of all, you need to start doing some reflecting. And I know, I know, this is the most boring part. This is the part that you don't really want to do. You don't want to reflect. You don't want to think about how badly or how greatly 2023 went. But you need to do it because if you don't do it, you'll end up making the same mistakes in 2024 than you did in this year. And I know it can be really hard to face the fact that you may didn't really achieve all of your goals in 2023, but you know, that's all right. That's what we're here for. That's why we want to make 2024 even better so i want you guys to ask yourselves why did i not achieve all my goals in 2023 like what stopped you was it yourself was it a partner was it a job loss was it, was it a breakup and now that you think about like this more surface level issue that you think was the reason why you didn't achieve your goals now you're going to go a little step further so you're going to ask yourself why so let's say i didn't achieve all my goals because i had a lack of discipline now i ask myself okay no. Why do I have the lack of discipline? And then I have an answer for that as well. I'm going to be reflecting and journaling and thinking about this really deeply because then you'll probably find out that it's actually related to a deeper issue within yourself that you need to heal from. It's actually such a big cause to why a lot of people fail in their New Year's resolution is because they don't believe in themselves enough. There's something traumatic inside of them that they haven't healed from. So that is why we need to be doing all the reflection work, all the shadow work, all the deep talks with yourself all of it just to really get to know yourself and really get to know which things used to stop you in 2023 from reaching your goals and how you can actually manage them so they won't cause you any more problems going into 2024. Okay next up is letting go because you guys need to let go of all of the situations and people and items and habits and routines that no longer serves you and i know this is so much easier said than done but you guys need to try and you guys need to reflect you need to do the shadow work you need to do the healing there's no way about it trust me i've been there you should start letting go of the past and old beliefs that you have about yourself because i know you guys i know you guys have some old beliefs about yourself that Oh, I don't deserve success. I will never get fit. Oh, I will never earn enough money because I haven't seen anybody close to me who've earned that much money or who've been fit or who have achieved this goal. I don't care what it is. I don't care about what you think of yourself. That was your past self thinking that. And maybe it's your current self as well. Maybe it's your current self thinking those bad beliefs about yourself. And you need to start letting go of those and honestly take it from somebody who really had low esteem problems. You need to start letting go of all of the, the bad and dumb assumptions that you have about yourself. The reason why I think that you're not good enough is because you've bought into so many of the lies that people have just been telling you guys over and over again. So maybe it's your parents not thinking you're good enough because you're not smart enough in school or whatever. And maybe it's your classmates who thought you weren't really pretty. And you need to start believing in yourself and in the fact that you are good enough in order for you to act and behave in the way you actually want to act and behave. Because you create your reality, you create the lens in which you see reality in. So that's why I really want you guys to look down, look deep, and let go of all the people, situations, beliefs that you have about yourself that are no longer serving you. And obviously this is very deep and can take such a long time and it's a healing journey. It's not something that happens just overnight, but it's something I want you guys to start now. So hopefully you'll be in a better place by the end of this year. Okay, so the next part is my favorite. It's all about planning. It's planning about how your best version of yourself looks like, acts like, behaves like, everything. But the first thing you need to do in order to create your dream life before 2024 is to actually get so, 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 so clear about your goals. And I know you've heard this a billion times before, but it actually truly works. So you need to stop thinking like, oh, I want to earn a lot of money. No, 
you're going to put a certain amount of money in your goals instead of being like this vague kind of abstract thing you need to be able to kind of visualize yourself and how your everyday life looks like with that kind of money that you want to have so I always categorize my goals by long-term goals and short-term goals. So short-term goals are like six months to a year where long-term are at least two plus years. So your short-term goals could be like land a specific job or get 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, I don't know. It can be a lot of things, but I just need you guys to be clear about it. A lot of you guys probably already know what you got, like you already have kind of somewhat of a vague idea of what you want. You just need to put it down on actual paper. So I've always had kind of like a vague idea of how I want my whole life to look like but when I actually put it down onto paper and just makes sense on another level because now I know what I need to be doing on an everyday basis in order for me to achieve both my short-term and my long-term goals. Okay, I'm so excited about this. Now you guys are going to be making your absolute best version of yourselves morning routine. And you guys, I have actually made three small morning routines, each one for how much time you have in your morning for you guys for free. And you can just check it out. It's right down in the description below. You can either use one of them to a T or you can also take some inspiration. And I just want to give you guys like incredible amount of value you for the time that you invest into my video okay so the next thing you'll need to incorporate before 2024 is an evening routine as well and again i've made three small routines for you guys that you can also check out in the link in the description box they're in the same document as the morning routines the next thing in the planning phase is also to create a vision board you can do that on pinterest there is so many different tutorials on how you can create the most amazing vision board my only advice for creating vision boards is to create a vision board that actually gets you like inspired and motivated and makes you you want to get off bed and go and chase your goals and a vision board that really resonates with your higher version of yourself i'm getting like so excited talking about this because i'm also going to be doing this and it's so much fun and next up is you need to be creating a mood board for your favorite like outfits and hairstyles that the best version of yourself would wear this is really to really get you into the feeling of being your best version of yourself because when you look at that mood board and you're going to pick out outfits in the morning you're also going to be looking for items that aligns with that mood board and whenever you go shopping you can go and try to find pieces that also matches with this mood board it just really gives you the vibe and the aesthetic of the best version of yourself okay so next up is that you'll need to set either a daily or weekly fitness goals this can be in steps in hours in minutes in amount of workouts i don't even care how you do it because there are so many options for you to do it you can either say oh i want my daily fitness goals to be to reach 10,000 steps that's a great goal to have or you can say i want to work out at least three times every single week that could also be your fitness goals you can have a lot of different fitness goals and it can look totally different from each and every single one of you guys it's really about what you actually want to accomplish with your fitness and next up you'll need to create a daily page goal and some of you guys are not reading which is like concerning because if some of you guys want to become millionaires you need to start reading as millionaires so if you're not like really into reading i would recommend like 10 pages a day or something like that's really realistic but if you are reading set it higher like why not i read like 40 pages a day to ensure that i'm reading at least one book a week yeah and it's not like every day i hit that goal but i really want to read at least 40 pages a day and the last bit of this like little planning stage is that you need to start creating a reward system for yourself so what i mean by this is obviously you want your big goals to motivate you and to get you inspired and hyped up but a reward system can ensure you to still be motivated in the short term so if you say okay if i work out four times a week every single week for the rest of this month I will buy myself a cute little little lemon water bottle. By doing this, you're making sure that you're actually going to be going to the gym, you're going to get healthy, you're going to reach your big fitness goals, and you're also getting cute water bottles. So I feel like those kind of reward systems are really good, especially if your goals are a little bit more long-term and there's a lot of way before you actually hit your goals. Then you can also start celebrating the small wins, like working out consistently for a month. Okay, we've come to the last stage of today's video, which is getting started. This is to make sure that you don't just listen to all my advice, but actually apply it to your life. What you're going to be doing is that you're going to plan out all the things I just told you guys to plan. You're going to really get into your mood, really create your vision board, your mood board, your like page goal, your fitness goal, 
of the above so what you're going to do to actually start creating your dream life before 2021 is that you're going to plan out tomorrow and you're going to incorporate your different goals this means you'll need to plan out tomorrow you're going to incorporate both your morning and your evening routine you're going to create a detailed to-do list and you're also going to be eating healthy throughout the day and i want you guys to plan out an evening walk for tomorrow where you're going to be reflecting on how your morning routine was how eating healthy for the day was how you've just been feeling throughout the day you're actually going to plan out your day tomorrow like right now i'm serious recognize all the things that weren't really working so if your morning routine was too long you didn't even get to do half the things that you want to do or if after you've ate your meal your healthy meal and you want a little sugar snack just recognize all these things there's nothing wrong with you really it's just recognize these things and think about them when you recognize these things start thinking about okay where do i need to make some changes are some of these things a little bit too hard for me and do i need to take small steps in order for me to get there at some other point when you're doing this like active trial and error method you're able to remove all the things that aren't really working for you and then when 2024 arrives you're actually able to start on the right foot and last but not least you'll need to plan out your next upcoming weekend because in this upcoming weekend you're going to start manifesting I know some of you guys don't believe in it and maybe even some of you guys like haven't really tried it yet just try there's nothing wrong with trying you don't lose anything by trying get out your most delusional self and start visualizing meditating journaling and manifesting and also next Monday or Sunday, you are going to be cleaning up your whole environment, your whole space. You're going to be doing your everything shower and also the evening routine that you planned for your best version of yourself. And go to bed early and start the next week fresh. So this is my little like recipe for how to create your dream life before 2024 and actually just becoming your best version of yourself before the year 2024 actually even starts. I really think this like trial and error method are the way to go. It's Especially now that we can get kind of a head start before the year actually rolls around. Do a bunch of things, see what's working, see what's not, learn from it, learn as you go and continue on trying to become the best version of yourself. But anyways you guys, that was all I got for you for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope that you enjoyed watching just as much as I did recording it. And I really hope that you'll have an amazing day and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye!